Oh man, it has been a long, long time since I have talked over a speed draw video. If I was gonna put these kinds of videos into like one playlist and name it something, I would name it things that Brad has screwed up recently. And I like like overanalyzing things that I've done wrong because I learned so much more. So that's, that's kind of what this video is about. So there are two parts of this video. The first is a question I ask myself a lot, which is, um, what am I gonna draw today? I spend a lot of time staring at a blank white canvas just saying, all right, Brad, draw something. And the second part is, how do I stay motivated to draw? You know, even once I have something to draw, how do I keep going? What keeps me going? That sort of thing. And some some tips and tricks that I've, I've learned recently and not so recently, just, just some ideas off the top of my head. So that first question, when I am staring at that blank canvas, how, how do I figure out what am I gonna draw? Well, fortunately, I have the internet and the internet has my back. So the main thing that I, I like to search for is a lot of illustrators have created these 30 day drawing challenges. Um, it's worth Googling that um, because different illustrators have made different ones. And basically the idea here is that over 30 days or a month, you're gonna draw every single day. And it's an idea of what you're gonna draw. Some are kind of vague, like, draw something that makes you sad. And some of them are really specific. Draw an oak tree with leaves or something like that. So it's just a matter of, you know, Googling 30 day drawing challenge and finding one that fits you. There are so many out there that you're going to find something. The other thing that's really cool uh, is if you're using the app Sketchbook, if you're using it on the iPad or Android, and maybe even on the desktop too, they've got like a daily drawing feature where they will throw something out at you like, hey, draw this, a nice little inspiration center. I haven't used it too much, but it's called Sketch This. And every time I see it in the app, I'm like, that is a really cool idea. And they have some other things built around it, like you can share your artwork with the community. Uh, there's like timed challenges and stuff like that too. Another thing is that a lot of the artists I follow on Instagram or Twitter make a lot of fan art. So like you'll see Star Wars fan art a lot or Marvel fan art, probably because it's something they like and it gets them practicing. It's probably easier when you're just looking at a blank canvas to just start drawing Iron Man or Spider-Man than it is to just, you know, not know what to draw. Whenever I'm drawing, like, my default is I just draw some Zelda fan art or something. I hear, whenever I start a Zelda piece, I hear my old illustration teacher in the back of my head saying, Stop it! Draw something more dignified! But hey, I figure drawing fan art is way better than not drawing at all, so might as well go for it, you know? Practice is practice. Also, I've, I've been trying not to let projects bog me down. So like, I'd say if you start a 30 day challenge or fiddle with one of those, uh, don't be afraid to ditch it. I'm a little hesitant to say that out loud because I don't know if it's good advice. It might be horrible advice. So take it with a grain of salt. For me, this is good advice. At the beginning of the year, many of you will probably remember, I was going to study landscapes and paint a little bit every day and, and paint landscapes and outdoor scenes and that sort of thing. And the idea was is to get better at it over the course of the year. It was a great goal, you know, I liked it as a New Year's resolution. The problem I ran into is that I just ran out of momentum. I went pretty strong for the first month. I really started to weaken out in February. My schedule got fuller and fuller and carving out a half hour, an hour every day to draw, you know, sometimes gets a little difficult. And it was really kicking my butt. I was doing these master studies where I was looking at other painters' paintings and I was trying to replicate them and they just didn't look good. And there were a lot of elements to those paintings that I was struggling with. And when my art wasn't looking good at the end of the day, it just became easier every day when I was getting ready to practice to not practice than it was to kind of churn through. And I, and I kind of have mixed feelings about this because on one hand, for me, I, I then went a stretch without drawing anything because I thought, well, I should draw my master studies. And I thought, oh, I don't feel like it. And, and I ended up drawing other things instead, but I went several weeks without drawing pretty much anything at all except for like test drawings for some stuff I was reviewing. And so I figured it's better to draw something else and, and abandon that project. Not abandon, but put it aside for a little bit. It was better to draw something and keep practicing than it was to draw something that I just wasn't into at all. But it also makes me think of school. I think that's one of the things that's good about kind of going to school to study art is that it forces you to stay with that project because there's something to be said for finishing, uh, finishing a final piece of art. 
And another thing that I've been doing is I've been telling myself what I start drawing. And, and this really started when I was doing the master studies because I knew I wasn't going to share them all because I knew they were going to be, some of them were going to be bad just because I was doing stuff that I'm not good at. But I started telling myself at the beginning, hey, Brad, you're not going to share this. This isn't to be put on Instagram. Or it's not to be shared on Twitter. Because oftentimes when I draw something, I'm like, I want to draw something awesome and I wanted to share it. But um, I, I had to kind of scale my myself back a little bit. I had to say, I'm just going to draw for the, for the love of drawing. I'm not going to worry about sharing it. If it looks good at the end of the day, great, post it. But this isn't for a video. It doesn't have to look good. Don't worry about all that other stuff. Don't worry about stressing yourself out because then you fiddle with it too much. You, I end up falling back on stuff that I knew, like, oh, I know this looks good, but then I'm not experimenting. I'm not pushing myself forward. You know, I'm just falling back on, oh, well, I drew a hand like this once, and so I'm gonna draw it this way again. So I've been, I have been telling myself, you know, don't worry about publishing, you know, just draw. So it looks like these speed drawings here are wrapping up. Um, sorry about the format. Like I said, I, I didn't draw these expecting to publish them. Uh, so I ended up drawing them in portrait view instead of landscape. So they don't quite fit too well. They're a little smaller than I want them to be, but I, I really like how the final guys ended up turning out. I still want to do another one. I need to get the lead guitarist in here. But let me know down in the comments, what are you drawing? What do you, when you're looking at that blank canvas, where do you get that inspiration? And what keeps you churning through? Um, and that's all I've got for this week. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll be back later.